helpful. So hi guys, today we are going to learn how to texture our uh, AI generated digital avatar, the 3D models in Blender. Uh, yeah, so we've done this today once in class at the workshop um, of the Gawkbot Festival with Current, but then I thought I'm gonna make a version of this workflow with a recording that's not interrupted. And also I can have a record of it as well. So let's get into it. First thing we wanna do is to open Blender. Cool, and second thing is to share my screen. <laughs> Got. Yep. So delete the cube. Not necessary. What you wanted to do is go to file, import, and import your OBJ. So I just quickly grab. Um, let's do the simple way first. There are two ways of doing this texturing, two super easy ways. Um, it's not exactly precise nor accurate, but it's just easy and not time consuming. I love efficiency. So you don't have to do this, but usually I would put my guy on the ground. I mean, some people don't really care, but I feel like it's pretty um, important. So what you want it to do is to import your texture and work in the texturing panel. So you go to UV editing, yeah. You open and then you load in your texture. Cool. So what you would want to do is to not have perspective so you can project without perspective. That's more accurate. So you click it here, the Y, and you have the front view. So what you want it to do is to click this button and to go into edit modes. Yeah, make sure you select your object and then you go into edit modes. And then here you see UV, right? Press it and then you press project from view. And then ta-da, your object has been projected onto the texture. So what you want it to do is to align them. Sometimes it becomes smaller or whatever, you can scale it and then you move it. But this time I did it perfectly because I did my projection perfectly. And you press this little red sphere. And next to base color, you press this yellow dot. You press image texture and the square triangle, you press it and then you select a texture. Cool. And now we're done. If you go back to layout modes and then you press this uh, field part shading, you would see that it's been textured, but right now he looks like foldable. So the first thing we're gonna do, the first type of work uh, flow that we're gonna do is to uh, super easily fix it. So you go back into UV editing and you press again, field part shading, and then you rotate to the back. Yep, rotate to the back. And you select the part where it shouldn't be the face. So you press and hold shift, click and drag on your mouse, and you select the area where it should be his hair. Like this, yeah. And then here on the texture panel, you have to press A. So then you select all of the texture. Yeah. And then you press scale. You make it smaller than the area where he has his hair. You're going to see why. And then you move. You already kind of see it working. Yeah, and now he has hair. Yeah, very easy. Not accurate, but it works and it's fast. Okay, so press shift, click and drag. And you fix also this weird part with his chin. And then you press A. 
and to move it down where he has clothes. Voila, that's done. In less than 10 minutes, you textured it. It's not perfect. It's just fast and easy. And you will see this little parts where it gets smudged because the way we're doing it is basically we're projecting from front and back. I'm not a perfectionist, but I can understand if you are. So what we can do, it's like repeat something similar. Select all of these and then press A and then drag it. Yeah. And then it's kind of like fixed. You would see that the texture is kind of like broken because we're projecting from front and back and then there are problems. I mean, some people would project from sphere, but then as a human, it's kind of like difficult to understand what's happening in the UV map. So this is like a good method for a beginner. I'm also a beginner in Blender. Anyway, so we can do it in a way with a bit more precision. So now I'm going to show it to you. Uh, new workspace, I'm not going to save, delete. Cool, so first thing, import your OBJ and we're going to work with a different model this time because for this one, you would see why. Uh, this female model has less clothing and her hair, it's not symmetrical. That's why it was uh, more difficult to do it in the way we did it before. So first thing we're gonna do is to make sure that she is standing on the ground. And this time we also wanted to make sure that she's like standing in the middle. I mean, it's not that critical, but I feel like it's better to work with. So first thing we're going to do is that we're, we're going to split her in half, front and back, right? So you press tap on your keyboard. Oh, sorry. Select the object, press tap on the keyboard. And then you find the knife here. You click and hold, and then it will show up the option of bisect. You press bisect. And what you wanted to do is just split her in half. So you click and drag because she is not standing straight. So what I wanted to do is to split her like kind of a little bit angled. If your model is like completely straight, you can just, just, split, split, uh, just split it like, yeah. So what you wanted to do is select, select loops, select loop inner region. Oh my God. And you press P on your keyboard and then you press selection. Yeah, so you have already split, split it into. What's happening with my English? Okay, so now we're gonna map the texture front and back, cool? Okay, don't worry if you're not exactly splitting in the middle because nobody can tell. And what we wanted to do is to go back into UV editing. Yeah. So like like how we've done it before, you open a texture first. And then you make sure she is in a front view. And then from UV, you press project from view. Oh my God. Sorry. Just like make sure. you are selecting the part of the model that you would want to work with. So like, for instance, yep, we can work with the back first. Select that, press A, orient it, and UV and project from view. And now you have to scale the model so that it fits. And because this is the back, right? So make sure that you place it where the back is. And then you press this red circle, base color, yellow dot, um, image texture, press 
this one and you select the texture. Cool, and let's see how it's doing. Uh, field part shading, and you will see the back is done. Yeah, so now we're gonna do the front. Go back into UV editing. Yep, so the front is selected. You have to select all the vertexes, so you press A, you orient into a frontal view. UV project from view and align the texture with the model. Cool beans. Don't worry if it's not accurate. Again, nobody can tell. Hmm. And if you go back out to layout mode, you'll see that now it's done. I mean, because I was doing it really fast, so I didn't spend enough enough time to actually make sure that I split the object in half, but you get the idea. Now we have front and back. And because we have split the object, we have to merge them together. And we can't just simply join them or else it will become a broken mesh. So we, what we wanted to do is to merge the vertexes. So we select everything, press A, select everything, and we go back into add up molds. You can either press tab on your keyboard or you just go into, you press edit modes, yeah? So what, so after you go into edit mode, on the right-hand side, you'll see a little button that says, also merge for it, for it, for it, for it What's happening with my English? Okay, I'm just kind of tired. Um, yeah, so then it's, merged and after you merge all the vertexes you have to join the object so what you want it to do is come back out from edit mode you have both objects selected you press object here and then you press join voila now it's one model and like you can fix little things like for instance, here it's white, yeah? So you hold, press and hold shift, click and drag, and you move it to somewhere where it has skin. I mean, there are many different ways of doing it. This one is just really fast and economic, yeah. And you can do this for the rest of the body as well, but you kind of get the idea, yeah. And because um, why there are like differences in color, it's also because uh, first I didn't scale it, right? And second, it's because the texture was made not with ambient light. So then the light is coming from, uh, it's unidirectional, it's coming from one direction and then that creates uh, shading and like lighter skin tone on a body. So when you're making your texture, just like make sure that it's in a more ambient lighting. So if you go back to the previous model, you see that it doesn't have this different in skin color problem. With this one, there's a little bit. And also because this, uh, 3D model, like the woman is wearing less clothes. So it will be hard to texture it with the previous workflow. Uh, that's why you would need the back or else like this, uh, the chest area would be weird. And also because she doesn't have symmetrical hair. So it'll be more difficult. But yeah, you might need to get hair like this. Um, like last time when I was making a digital avatar for my professor, what I did was basically, let me just share a screen. 
So I did this in Photoshop. Uh, I only have a front image of my professor. It costs like $3,000 on Getty. So what I did was basically just a screen grab and you would see that the model came out okay um, because it's AI generated. So it's not really high resolution anyways. And then what I did was I go into Photoshop and I just download some random hair and I do the texture, I download like a random suit back and I just Photoshop this and it come out okay. So that's one way where, how you can get the back of a person. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you would enjoy the rest of the workshop.